What is Magic War Books? Okay, so this is the... I don't know if you can see this, but that's the first book. Okay. Series, Revengeful Heart. I don't know if you can see that too well. Uh, <clears throat> Magic War Books is um, a book series I had written ooh, probably a couple of years now back in Australia, and it got picked up by a US publisher about a year ago. And in that hindsight of a year ago of an eight-book series... Um, I came here to do, you know, book signings and meet and greet, and then from there it's just catapulted for TV and whatnot. But, you know, it's basically about the genre from Harry Potter and Twilight, but it has no vampires. So just so you know, <laughs> has no vampires. That's no vampire. not in it. It's basically, um, you know, like immortals. You know when you've grown up with stories of people who are immortals, not like gods, but, you know, they have kind of strengths and abilities and they're a different breed of people. Yeah. So kind of supernatural, but um, they all exist in this really nice place called Lakeview and it's got, you know, uh, they have a trendy place where they will hang out the pier and the lead bad boy um, plays in a band. So it's kind of got a young, boppy social feel, but it interlocks a lot with um, an older crowd of characters and a teen crowd of basically what we all struggle with in life from, you know, making decisions on love, on lust, um, how some turn to revenge how some become immortal because they turn to revenge, um, you know, going into cahoots with the wrong people and end up giving up their mortality. So it has a lot of that. And on top of that, it's just full of action. The second book, there's a few free chapters on Facebook at the moment and um, the second book, and that's just the beginning of that book. But as you get further into the series, there's a lot of action and wars. So it's a bit of bloodshed and gore. <laughs> I'm excited. It sounds cool. I can't wait to read it when I get it. Thanks. It's so cool. I've, I've, we've got a lot of fans. We've just got under um, 400, or just now, oh, no, we're over now, sorry, over 400,000, uh, 450,000 fans. Whoa. I know, and they're organic. Like, <clears throat> this book hasn't had any money injected in it until the studio start beginning. You know what I mean? So it's all been me and fans, just hard work and a lot of fan blogs and stuff. So I think it's got something that everyone just wants to read that you can escape into, especially as you get further into the series and you get more involved with a specific yeah. character or something like that. When did you start writing them? Yeah, I, I wrote these two years ago, so probably before, yeah, two and a half years ago. So how many books are there in the series altogether? There's eight books in the series oh, wow. in total. Uh, and how many more do you plan to write? Sorry? How many more do you plan to write? I think eight's enough for the series, you okay. know. I, I, yeah, we don't want to drive people crazy. but um. And where, where did the idea come from? Okay, the idea, I've written a lot of books. Like I've, my background's theatre, so I've done a lot of theatre productions and I have other books as well. So it's not like I haven't written before in my life. Right. So I'm, I'm quite successful within theatre and um, different genres of books because I have like teen self-help books that have been featured on the Ian Summerhouda Foundation and I do public speaking for those. But this particular book series, and this is, this is like crazy but it's true, it was a really like hot night in Australia. It was like over 120 Fahrenheit. And I was literally just sitting, um, yeah, I was really hot. I'm literally just sitting there and I'm like, and it just, you know, just started coming to me. I got the character more Tyler. I wanted the bad boys. I was thinking of this place. And it, seriously, that's how it came to me. I have no more exciting story, but that's the truth. <laughs> and how do you go about your creative process? I, okay, so I've been writing for a long time. So I guess um, what I've done over the years is, is mainly my imagination it's just stories I come up with. So I may see something in my day, like, you know, a friend or a cute guy or something like that, and then that will then catapult into, oh, you know, that'd be a good character or maybe I can set it like this or do something like that. So it's just kind of um, playing around with my imagination. Wow. And which actors or actress do you see playing the live version? Oh, yeah. I, oh, I'm so excited about this. And it's kind of like, it's daunting at the same time, too, because you, you just don't know who's going to get, you know, right. the final cast. But there is an actor, um, that used to be on the Vampire Diaries. Oh, what's his name? I've just, I've just forgotten his name. Sean Ferris, his name is. And he does kind of like, um, 
martial arts and stuff. And one of the characters is very, he's a gladiator. Xavier is a gladiator of war and he's this misunderstood guy who, you know, is like really nice inside but he has to survive and he has to be this gladiator. And I think he would be really cool as not someone, you know, like saying Brad Pitt or something like that. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I think he'd be really cool. And some of the actual models that do some of the characters will probably try out. So it's kind of a little bit interesting to see who um, who will get it. But I think he would be really cool. And I I also think um, Dean Ackles from Supernatural would be one of, would be good to play on the other side as a baddie, as one of the um, – immortals or villains so i think he'd be really cool so there's a few i want actually but yeah <laughs> that's probably it. and um what sets you apart from let's say like another young adult novel i read a lot of other young adult novels like i read a lot of the series because i kind of really like that genre to tell you the truth and i think the biggest difference in mine is that a lot of them are just based on a romeo juliet bottom line romance whether it's fallen angels whether it's vampires whether it's a witch with a mortal or you know that kind of thing and um and the action explodes from there waiting for a hero or heroine that's that's pretty much you know the great genre that i like of urban fantasy young adult but this kind of takes you beyond that where it takes you into a, an area where you're either going to be battling in a war with these characters and there's more than just two people loving or not loving. You're actually intertwining people's strife or their misgivings, you know, in their life. So I think it just takes you that extra mile. Yeah, definitely. And um, what other pursuits do you have besides for Magic Wars? Okay. Well, at the moment we have um, – Magic Wars will come out as a graphic novel as well, so that's some – Oh, that's that's your first in the world to know that, actually. <laughs> so that's your inside scoop, actually. Nice. Um, but what else we're doing, Mark, is I have a, a, another production in line at the moment called Lockout Point, which is another series that I had written, and um, TV shows and production companies are looking at that as well. So it's called Lockout Point, which will be a really cool TV series. Oh, nice. And it kind of sent – yeah, so that's another good one. So I'm working on that. And then I want to get back to New York and I want to concentrate on my theatre. So oh, I've wow. got a few things happening in your amazing country. I love your country. <laughs> <laughs> and are, are the characters based on anyone specific in your life? Um, you know, I, as an artist, you draw from feelings or an emotion. You know, like if, say, Picasso was painting something, he would paint from passion for the woman, even though it's abstract, or Monet would do whatever mood he was in. So an artist does have to come from something within. But as in a specific person, if you read the book or the second book mainly and you see the fans, if there was a guy like Mark or Xavier, (laughs) I'd be very happy in the series. But um, they're fictional. But I think a lot of the emotions, um, I had a very – Oh, that, you know, dysfunctional kind of abusive childhood. So I think a lot of the characters that have turmoil or, um, you know, sorrow, I can kind of pull out on that. And then I guess when you're dating and you have the ups and downs, mm-hmm. there's a little bit you draw on that, Mark. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> and do you yourself have a favourite book? Yeah, I like – my favourite books are, tend to be the classics at the moment. I haven't read anything modern that has wowed me. Um, I mean, I did like Harry Potter. I mean, I think that really got us to escape our lives. Mm-hmm. But um, rec- I guess my favourite books are like Wuthering Heights, Pride and Prejudice, um, you know, those kind of classics I really like. Wow. They're well written. Yeah, <laughs> they are. I'm actually just reading The Catcher in the Rye. I never read it before. Oh, hey, hey, whoa, 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 that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. I actually really, en- I'm enjoying it. Like, I can't put it down. Except <laughs> I have, like, a stack of books, like, this high. It's like, I <laughs> put it on the yeah. list. That's a really good book. Like, those classics I always go back to. I do, I mean, I, mean, I read modern books, don't get me wrong, but you just, right. I don't know, you get lost in the way they're written. And I think also a big thing there, Mark, is they were edited different. Um, our editing process is so different now from Australia to America to the UK to Europe that we don't have that kind of that storyline that wants to draw you in the way they do, the way they write. And every country has a whole new way of spelling, a whole new way of apostrophes. And I think that does make a difference to a story, how someone 
chops and changes it. It's true. It changes the whole voice of the person. It does. And I've had to stick a lot with a lot of different editors. And I, still you can pick it up and the book that's in Australia will be edited a little bit different than the book here or the punctuation. or Yes, yeah, so I think it's kind of like... It's, I think that's what changes the tones in a lot of books, so you, that, that part of it. Right. <laughs> no, for sure. But, um, no, so I, I, think, think, I think... What that, was that? What? What was that? Sorry? No, I said I think that's it. I think we got everything. I think we covered it. Oh, cool. It. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Yeah. Well, I can't... As soon as we know the um, dates where it's getting launched next year on TV, I'll let you know straight away because right. we'll let everyone know. But, um, yeah, thank you so much for your time. Not a problem. No, this was fun. I, I, I really enjoyed it. Oh, good.